Hello everyone, welcome back again to On Hot Channel. If you don't know, my name is Enes and I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I don't reply to each comment. If you are wondering again why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to add a custom HTML section to your Shopify store. So if you have an HTML code that you want to add or implement in your Shopify store, you might notice that option is not available anymore on some teams. For example, my team that I'm using right now and the one you see in front of me right now, which is down team, it doesn't exist anymore. The HTML section doesn't exist anymore. And I'm not sure why. There is the rich text content uh, section. However, it's not really HTML and it doesn't accept all the HTML calls. If you want to implement video, a lot of stuff, it doesn't accept them. However, if you want just text with bold or italic or whatever, you can use that instead. However, if you have a really good HTML text that does something on your Shopify store and you want to implement it, if you are using down team or any of the teams right now, that section doesn't exist. So in this video, I will show you how to get that section back. So I will show you how to add that section. Even if Shopify does not give you the option anymore, I will show you how to do so. So you can add any HTML section to your Shopify store easily without having to mess up with complicated codes and so on. And this trick again, or this section that we will add again, it works on every team and every versions of any team on Shopify, so no worries. And also, I do provide you with my support because simply I'm working for you. So if you had any issues with this or anything like that, just drop me a comment, I will be happy to help you out. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. But before we start again, Please, if this video helped you out, help me out by pressing that like button. I would really appreciate it. It's completely free and it will motivate me to make more videos for you guys. So just like the banner says, please a like. Anyway, let's just get to it. As you can see, this is by the way the Shopify store that I do all the tutorials on. And just like you see right now this banner as well as this transparent header with the video on the banner playing underneath the header, I did show all the this and videos tutorials and all the code for them are freely available in my description and you don't have to pay any fee or anything like that and the bonus thing on top of all of this is my support just check out my videos and if you found a single comment without a reply on it from me i will apologize to you i do reply to each comment and i do help out people to fix issues and so on so if you are interested in how to add a lot of things i did show including like this for example the video playing and loop without any controls whatsoever on the home page or any page make sure to check out my channel as well as the background picture for any section or set any color or gradient color for any section as well as the picture for the footer as the background for it make sure to check out my channel but for now i know i speak too much about the things i showed anyway let's just get to it so the first thing you're going to do is obviously access the shopify dashboard then the next thing you're going to do, click on online store from the left menu, then click on the three dots on left of customize right here and click on edit code and it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And by the way, let me get back to show you what I'm talking about. So if I click on customize button right here, then I will click on add section uh, right here at the bottom of the page. If I click on add section, there is no HTML section right here. There is only custom liquid option and even this custom liquid option doesn't exist on some Shopify teams and in my previous video I did show how to add the custom liquid to any Shopify team but what I'm talking about here is the HTML section so as you saw it doesn't exist then we'll get back to the code editor and we will create it then we'll get back in here and you will see it on these options for the section so let's just get back to the code editor right here and edit code and here we are on the code editor the next thing you're going to do is click on sections folder right here as you can see simply click on it and it will show you some files in it and click on add new section because that's exactly what we need we need to create a new section and that will be our html uh, section custom uh, custom html code so simply click on add new section will show you this prompt and make sure you do name it as raw so this is really important name it as raw which is r e the w just like you see on the screen then click on done and automatically it will create some code in here make sure to remove it so remove all the code in here after that scroll down the description box as always you will see a link name it as code and if you're completely free you don't have to pay any fee or anything like that so simply click on it and it will take you to this page right here without any ads whatsoever and here is 
the code as you can see so we need this code in order to create that new section and the code line is uh, 183 so make sure to select this code from the bottom until the beginning so select all the code in here then right click and copy let's just do that again just a habit anyway i get paranoid when i click on copy i'm afraid it doesn't copy anyway so let's just get back to the code editor and simply we're going to paste in the code in here so simply paste in all the code in here and after that click on save and after this changes were saved that should create the custom html section for our shopify team and right now we will get back to the team customizer and we will add a new section and in the options that i showed you earlier uh, there is no html this time it should be there and let's just check it out so let's just get back in here then we will click on customize as i said and after that let's just scroll down and click on add section right here and here is all the options what is it what is it here is as you can see it's called raw element so this is the html section where you can paste in any html code in here so simply click on it and it will add a new section in here and here is it says here it calls your gs or html code and gs stands for javascript so yes you can implement even javascript in here so make sure to hit that like button just like the section says make sure to hit that like button so as you can see right here it says raw elements and there is the block raw elements here if i click on it here is the section where you can paste in any code in here i mean html code of course and right now you have the custom html section on any team on your shopify store just like you saw right now and as i said in the beginning of the video i'm working for you so if you have any issues with this or any issues with your shopify store just drop me a comment below i will be happy to help you out otherwise i think my job is done for this video and thanks for watching and catch you on the next one